Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be summarizing the Bay's holiday update. Enjoy the video. That, got, that clip must have been very familiar because I got it from Mike on Live and yes I'm going to be covering the whole of the Bees Holiday Update slash 1.15 which is coming at the end of this year 2019. Anyways, now we're going to be starting to summarize the whole thing into 10 minutes video, probably something like that, but anyways. I'm gonna start uh, with the new blocks that are going to be coming to Minecraft and uh, in Minecraft 1.15 slash the Beast Holiday update. I've said that about 10 times already today. Anyways, uh, what I'm gonna be uh, the three blocks that have uh, that are going to be coming to Minecraft are the Bees Nest, the Bees Hive, and well. I'm going to be pretending that this slime block is the honey block, which have been leaked in the, uh, at Minecon. Let me just turn off the weather real quick. So, the bee's nest is going to be, uh, uh, in detail, the bee's nest is going to be found in nature. You could still touch it to get it. That's the only way to get it. And you could find it and play in the forest biomes and birch forest biomes. You, then you've got your bee hive which can be crafted with uh, using three three honeycombs three honeycombs and uh, the and three wooden planks any sort of wooden planks in a specific order so uh, so the way you craft it is three blocks uh, three planks at the top three blank, uh, planks at the bottom and three honeycombs through the center and then you've got your honey block which we still don't know the main source of of course as i said i'm going to be using this land block as if it was the honey block so the three uh, the uses of these are pretty simple the hu the honey block is uh, pretty much just like a slime block but instead you can um, it, you can slide on it just as if you've got a ladder so if I get a stack of ladders a couple of ladders you're gonna see how slow I go down it so if I just go up to the top so it's going to be way like um, way slower than this but we're going to be able to stick to it it's going to be stickier than the slime block so on the slime block you can jump pretty high but you still can't really walk on it properly so that's going to be pretty much the honey block you slow walking slow you can stick to it through the side and uh, from what Corey and Agnes said let me just roll roll the clip real quick we want to see players utilize the sliding mechanics so from what Corey said we're going to be able to go up and down it we're going to be go able to uh, slide up and down the honey which is going to be pretty interesting indeed and uh, it, and of course the honey block which have been leaked really looks like the slime block that's why i'm using slime as uh, point of view or kind of example for it. it really looks like it but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be what this honey block looks like but the, uh, and that's pretty much it for the honey block then you've got your beehive which the, uh, which you can get honey out of it just like the bee nest so the beehive and the bee nest are just two uh, are just the same things but one cool feature that I've noticed during my testing here is that the uh, bees are more attracted to bee nests than they are to bee hives. Even if bee nests are full with bees and full with honey, b uh, the bees are just gonna wait in queue to get inside the bee nest. So if you want to, ha if you want to have the bees attracted to your bee hives only, be sure to not have any bee nests lying around. And that's pretty much the uh, that's pretty much it for these three. These are blocks. some technical features about the bee nest and beehive, and which are going to be uh, like that are going to be in the actual game. First of all, you are able to dispense uh, your glass bottle into a bee nest slash beehive and get your honey. Uh, that way or you can just dispense a uh, shear onto them and you'd get your honeycombs that way uh, the honey block acts the same as a slime block with their piston you can dispense anything out of them and the piston mechanics for bis uh, for beehives and the bee nests are 
there are immovable blocks, which are which is a pretty cool thing to do. They that would be pretty useful in making your uh, redstone thingies look a bit uh, look a bit better because the backside really looks kind of cool actually. It looks really woody, I guess. But it does look pretty good. Then and now we're gonna start with the actual bees themselves, the actual bee mobs and their features. So what the bee can do is that they can get pollinated and can make and can make honey. And as I said before, bees are more attracted to bee nests than they are to bee hives. So they if a bee nest is around they would one hundred percent go for the bee nest instead of the bee hive. Also, if they're pollinated, as you can see with most of these, uh, some of the bees are not pollinated. If uh, if they're pollinated and all the bee nests and beehives are full around them, like this beehive is full with bees right now, this beehive is full with bees right now, this beehive is full with bees right now. So when they're full, they're either gonna try to go away to a nearby nest and I guess they're going in the opposite direction since they, well I did break them but maybe they know where another bee nest slash beehive is somewhere and they're going to get attracted to it or they're just gonna pollinate the crops nearby so if I spawn a bee this process takes about three no two to five minutes that's what I have gotten from my testing the bee takes about 30 to 45 seconds to pollinate from a flower and then takes about uh, one to three minutes to make honey and if they're going to pollinate a crop to their full potential like from this stage to this stage to the full it's gonna take about 10 minutes or something like that maybe maybe not 10 minutes maybe that's an over exaggeration but it really takes a bit of time and really needs a lot of patience so it actually could be a really cool way to make uh, more automatic farms but I really doubt it because the bees are gonna get in the way of you like trying to harvest your crops so not really very useful but it is kind of useful to other features related to the bee nest and the bee hives is that if you you can uh, of course right click with the shears and the glass bottle to get your honey or get your honeycomb uh, honeycomb with shears honey bottle with a uh, glass bottle anyways if you right uh, if you don't have anything under it and you right click it the bees will get angry at you and will sting you to your death but I'm on peaceful mode right now if I go on easy mode yep they're they've started to hit me but if you put a campfire under the under the bee nest or beehive that you want to shear slash glass bottle you will nothing will happen to you you're just gonna get your honey or honeycomb easy with no fighting because the smoke distracts the bees from the fact that you're taking your uh, their honey from them so that's a pretty cool feature i did get and i think most of the other players did get of course if the, you can drink the honey and it gives you about three hunger bars but you can't do anything with the honeycomb except craft your uh, thing with them your hun uh, be high with them. In general, the bees are pretty, pretty uh, normal, pretty peaceful. But if you, as I said, if you take their, uh, if you take their honey or honeycomb or whatever, they're gonna attack you. If you break a nest, they're gonna not do anything to you. But I think if you break like one that's full of honey, yep, they do attack you. They lose their stingers, which actually poison you. But I don't know why I'm not getting poisoned and uh, yeah was stung to death there we go i think this is a bug in the game like uh, the i am on the latest snapshot 18 19w 40 and i forgot where i put my thingy but i guess we're at pretty much at the end of the video just explaining how the bees uh, can die themselves by attacking the player they're gonna sting you to death they are supposed to poison you with their stingers but i guess um I guess that doesn't work in this snapshot. There, uh, this is a pretty buggy snapshot. You would have realized like some of the blocks in my inventory were kind of highlighted, a bit more of a beta kind of thing. But that's just to do with the rendering and all that that's coming to Minecraft. Uh, because they're going to be adding new things to the Nether, which I'm going to be covering tomorrow. 
uh, in a separate video for 1.16 I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful summarizing the whole bees holidays update I still don't I still don't have a theory or a reason of why they called the bees holiday update but um, yeah I think it has to do with the bees coming like around the holiday season or whatever Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Be sure to leave a like, follow my Instagram and the Mathcraft Instagram. More Mathcraft coming next week. And <laughs> I run away from the zombies. I'll end up the video. I'm going to be making another one of these videos about the Nether. I hope you find that video more useful than this one. Just trying to, just trying to be a helpful buddy around here. And I'm trying my best. I am kind of pretty sick. Maybe you would have realized by my voice. I kind of had, I have a bit of a cold just a little bit not too much but uh hopefully i'm gonna be better by next video even though it's going to be tomorrow and the chances of me getting better tomorrow are pretty slim but anyways i'll see you guys in the next video